Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's tap into your energy for the week ahead. This is for April 15th through the 21st. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Wow, two major arcanas already. You start off with, wow, three. Love it. Queen of Cups. Judgment card. The High Priestess, Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the King of Swords. There is some clear-cut communication coming through. I get this feeling that there's a lot of emotions on this communication that's coming through, whether it's um, brainstorming, whether it's uh, discussing a plan, an idea, putting something into action. I'm getting very strongly that there is some sort of whether it's an epiphany or you're thinking of um, clarity regarding a situation, I feel like you're you're working on manifesting um, a win-win situation in something. It just feels like, okay, I want all of us to be on the same page. I don't want to be worried about like, it's a temporary thing. Um, I get this feeling of you worried that like, okay, you make amends, things work out, we're in a good place because the judgment card here is talking about second chances. Remember, we are still in Mercury retrograde and yes, the eclipse energies are still affecting us at this time. The eclipse energy is going to unravel things and, you know, create new beginnings and transformations and changes that are going to, um, you know, roll out within the next few months. So it's not like an overnight change. It could be an overnight idea or epiphany or, you know, you take action on something overnight uh, after you get the clarity that you needed. But, you know, with the Queen of Cups and the Judgment card, the Queen of Cups is very steadfast with her emotions. I mean, it almost looks like it's lightning here, but in reality, it's the sun peeking through in between the clouds, you know, showing that there are emotions here. I get this feeling of like there's emotions behind a mother, mother figure relationship, wanting to fix things, wanting to mend things, expressing yourself on an emotional level. The judgment card is, you know, giving you this opportunity during Mercury retrograde to review, revise, um, you know, think to what's your next best step or situation or scenario how do you move forward and i feel like uh, you're you are definitely getting epiphanies here you have the high priestess card so you can trust your intuition at this time look at all this blue blue and purple is giving me upper chakras right crown chakra third eye throat chakra it's giving me that very strong energy of taking the time to really tap in, meditate. I, I do feel like if you are, it, it feels like you're almost daydreaming is what it feels like. You're daydreaming, trying to think of, um, it's, it's not even, it's partly daydreaming. Okay, Sagittarius, it feels like there is something specific that is always on your mind, something that you need to make a decision on, whether this is a group of people, two people not getting along, because your court cards here are Queen of Cups, King of Swords. So this is, you know, not gender specific, but this is someone who's very much, um, you know, wanting to be uh, fully invested on an emotional level, but wanting to feel safe, right? The Queen of Cups, she's safe in her emotions. The King of Swords is a bit detached, so it feels like every time you try to express yourself or you want to fix things or you want to, it's like you want to shake some sense into someone and they're just kind of giving you this blank stare or they feel detached. It's almost like, do you even have a heart? <laughs> I get this feeling. I'm seeing like the Tin Man, right? Wizard of Oz. But I'm getting this feeling of, um, you know, like this person doesn't really show too much emotion. And while you might be able to read them sometimes or try to pick up on certain things because they show their love in other ways or, you know, their care or um, the fact that they are not um, fully detached, right? But there is this feeling of, you know, with the King of Swords that is kind of taking a step back, really thinking about things. But look, 
she's being hopeful. She's looking up. She's got all these emotions and she's just like, how can I break bread with someone? How can I enlighten someone to my emotions, my feelings, what they said or did, or perhaps vice versa? Maybe you're offering an apology. You're trying to fix something, right? And they're just kind of, I mean, look at, look at his posture, the way he's looking down that way, like, like he's got a chip on his shoulder, like, yeah, you're going to beg, like, yeah, I'm going to make you, you know, keep feeling sorry for yourself. It's like they want to see you squirm, asking for forgiveness, asking to try to, you know, fix things and work things out. It's just a little manipulative there. The Ace of Swords and the Magician card. I mean, I love that you have the Magician card because the Magician definitely is within his power. So again, male or female is not gender specific. However, I really want you to think about how you are going to embody this energy right here fully. If you have a very important decision to make that can be life altering or life changing for you, for other people in work, in family and relationships, Take a moment to really study how the high priestess and the magician really work, okay? The high priestess, it feels like there is this energy of wanting to take flight, wanting to trust your intuition, understanding when it's an epiphany, when it's a download, when you're being guided, it's also feeling like you have this wisdom and this knowledge from other lifetimes, like you've been here before. I feel like there's a part of you that that is feeling like this could be a karmic lesson of some type. The magician, he's got all the tools of the trade. He's not afraid to make decisions, to take action. He's not afraid to use what he has to be an alchemist, uh, to create the life that he wants, to create the change that he wants. You know, if that's healing, if that's forgiveness, it's if that's, you know, bettering yourself. The Ace of Swords is, you know, the sword of clarity, sword of communication, victory and success. What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? Four of Cups. I'm telling you, I feel like like you're on opposite ends with someone. It's like you really are doing your damnedest, your best to try to be on good terms with someone. And, and they give you like, it feels like just enough to make you believe that they want the same, but they don't fully show it. Like they don't fully show it. It's like they want to make you feel bad. Four of Cups energy. Emotional discontentment. Again, I hear that they want to make you they want to see you squirm in your own guilt or remorse or whatever it may be. Ace of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Love this. Love this. Because regardless of what it is that they want that is not in your best interest for you, at the end of the day, the power is in your hands, the fire within. You are a fire sign. So this is a very definite, you know. Um, a very definite response to what's your next step. Spirit is saying the power is in your hands. You have the fire in your belly. The, that high priestess, that magician card is saying you've got all the tools of the trade. Everything that you can possibly need, want, desire. You have the ability, the clarity, the ideas. You have what it takes to create. And as soon as you decide to move on it, to act on that momentum, things start shifting and moving very, very rapidly. Eight of Wands. Fast communication. Very strong communication, but also I'm hearing very strong results. Okay? So if you've been worried about something like that, it's definitely giving uh, fast results. I mean, you also have... 111 could be significant for you as well, okay? Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Magician card. Clarity, victory, success, passion, ideas, new chapter in your life. I'm just, I just heard you're carving out 
you're paving your own path and you're carving out exactly what it is that you want for yourself. It feels... It feels like it's a pivotal time for you. Okay, Sagittarius, what Spirit is telling me, you know you know how people say um, you don't realize you're making memories in that moment until you look back and realize that those were the good times, right? I'm sure I butchered that one way or another. But it's kind of like that. The way I'm hearing it is in this moment right now, you are literally, it's a, it's a pivotal moment for you in your life. You are literally paving your own path. But it feels like there are others that you are also paving a path for. Like they're following you down this path, whether it be through generational wealth, if you start a business or in your career where you're, you know, manager, CEO, you're the lead. You're making some very powerful and potent changes with this energy and again even if they don't feel like they're big huge changes or that powerful or that this is like oh the turning point in your life it feels like in a very short time you're going to look back and be like how did this happen when did this all happen like you're you're not going to be able to fully pinpoint when something really changed for you. And so Spirit wants you to take a moment and just take it all in right now and realize how things are changing for you for the better. Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. Mm, soulmates. Love this card. If you are single, Spirit is definitely saying that love is on the way for you. And there is this energy of soulmate energy around you at this time. And if you feel like you haven't met anybody or you haven't put yourself in a situation where you could meet someone like this, soulmate isn't just in love. It could be soul family member. It could be a child, a friend. It can be a best friend, right? Two peas in a pod, feeling very connected. So you could be calling in your soul family for support at this time. If you are in a relationship, I feel that the person that you're with has very strong soul ties to you where you feel very, very safe with them, deeply connected. Like it never crosses your mind that this person is not the one for you. Feeling very safe and secure and the two of you really love each other and it feels like I'm seeing two pieces of a puzzle click and connect together like you are meant for each other. I'm going to pull one more because I know that may not resonate with everyone. The fates. I mean, look at that. The way she's looking up and the stars... This is fated energy. This is divine guidance. This is things lining up for you at the right place at the right time. This is finding alignment with your dreams, with your love, with your joy, with your happiness, with your career, with your success. Remember what I said. This is the time where things start aligning for you. That when you feel like, when did I get to this point? You can't even pinpoint the starting point to it, but it feels like it's right now, eclipse season. So whatever it is that you are, oh, I'm hearing the word destiny. If you're destined to be with someone, they're on their way to you or you are currently with them. I feel like there are destined changes that are coming through for you feels very strong and powerful and I love this for you because it feels as though as even especially with the magician card here you are definitely aligning with the better chapters coming your way 
that's your weekly energy. Remember to give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot. I did open up a few dates. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, the link is in the description box down below. I am going to be doing in-person readings at a few different events, and you can find all that information out over on my Instagram at Virgo Angel Tarot, and I will see you at your next week's reading. Have a great week. Sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.